Hi everyone, Neil Malik from Knack Training here. I'm bringing you another Everyday Office video. This one's about using a macro in Microsoft Excel. And specifically what we're going to do is we are going to write this one out by hand because I want to start to build up a bit of a background in how to write macros because in, uh, in about two weeks, I'm going to have a series of videos about writing more elaborate macros. So this one is handling a problem that a lot of um, accounting firms, a lot of lawyers face in that uh, their clients will give them spreadsheets that have hidden information and very often they won't think to check for those things. And so what I'm doing is I'm writing a macro that will unhide, as you can see here, between D and F, the column E is hidden, between I and K, column J is hidden, between S and U, between 5 and 7, between 8 and 10, all of these rows and columns have been hidden in the spreadsheet. But if you don't think to go looking for it, you know, it's part of the, the process that you might not remember to do. And it's very difficult to scan along the headers and scan along the row labels and try to find all the instance of, uh, instances of this. So what I'm going to do is write a simple macro that will go through and unhide all rows and all columns throughout this sheet. First thing I need is I need the developer tab at the top of my screen. If you don't have the developer tab, just go to the file tab in the top left hand corner go down to options and from the customize ribbon section of the Excel options dialog box make sure that the developer tab is checked. Now once you've got this you can go to your visual basic button in the top left hand corner of the screen and in accessing this you can now uh, go into what's called personal.xlsb Personal.xlsb is the personal macro workbook, and it's the macro workbook that you use for things that um, you're going to use across all spreadsheets for the rest of your life. If you put a macro into a specific workbook, then, you know, that workbook is the only one that has that particular macro in it. But here, I'm creating macros within personal.xlsb, and just uh, as you can see right here, I've already got a module here for unhiding things, uh, but I'm going to do something a bit simpler than this one. So the first thing I need is a new module to contain this macro I have in mind. I'll right-click on Modules within the personal.xlsb workbook there. Go to insert and choose to insert a new module. And uh, I will name this module just module and then unhide rows calls or something like that. So we now have a blank sheet of paper here to work with and I want to use a new macro. Macros always start with the word sub which stands for subroutine, and then the name of the macro that you have in mind. So I'm going to call this one unhide all rows, calls, open parentheses, close parentheses. You always need those parentheses at the end of the name of the macro, just in case there's a macro that you create that takes what are called arguments and it takes in some kind of information. That would go inside the parentheses, but in most of these instances, I don't have anything to pass to the macro, so it doesn't have anything in the parentheses. And when I hit enter, it ends the sub right there, and I'll just hit enter a few times to give myself some space. When I write a new macro, I always start off with comments. So single quote at the beginning of a line, first line after this new macro's name, is how you write in your first line of comments. And this should be plain English about what you're trying to accomplish. So here it'll be uh, this macro selects all rows and columns within the sheet. And now if I have to use another line, again, just hit enter, single quote, and unhides all hidden elements. Okay. So now, what are we going to do to make this happen? 
Uh, very often when you want to make something like this happen, it's a good idea to make sure that your uh, user doesn't have to worry about what's happening, doesn't see the action, the processing that has to go into this. So first item is if I write a line of code that goes inside this sub, I always tab in to give myself um, you know, a little bit more of a visual indicator that this is contained within the macro. And so the first thing I always do is application dot screen updating equals false. And then at the end, and you can move down here, do application dot screen updating equals true. So before we get into the macro, don't do any screen updating, just do the macro and then at the end, update the screen and let my uh, user see what happened. So now what we need to do is say, okay, within this sheet, within the active sheet, there are um, an element called cells. Specifically cells is all the cells within the current sheet. But I'm not talking about cells here. I'm specifically talking about the rows and I'm specifically talking about the columns and unhiding those things. So within cells, there's this idea called the entire column dot hidden. The property for hidden for any given column should be set to false. And then as you can imagine, active sheet dot cells dot entire row dot hidden equals false. And that right there, those two lines of code will take all the cells in the current sheet It'll take the column that those cells are in, meaning every single column in the entire workbook, which means the entire worksheet, and set the hidden property for that column to false. Then it'll turn around and do the exact same thing for the entire row for all the cells for its hidden property. So I'll close this down. And now it comes to how I want to execute this. So I can go to the macros button uh, on the developer tab, find my, uh, what do I call this? Unhide all rows calls, right? This macro right here. I could just use run over here on the side. Uh, if I want to assign it a keyboard shortcut, I could click on options over here on the right hand side and assign it a keyboard shortcut. I definitely wouldn't want to use things like control U or control R, control C, because those are keyboard shortcuts that already exist in Excel. Uh, but I could do control shift U maybe, something along those lines. Or I could decide that I don't want to assign this a keyboard shortcut at all and instead maybe assign it a button. So if I wanted to assign it a button, I could go to my drop down menu up here on the quick access toolbar, choose more commands from the quick access toolbar drop down menu. And then over here on the left hand panel, instead of popular commands, I hit the drop down and I choose macros. And there you can see my unhide all rows uh, calls macro is available to me. I can click add put that onto the personal macro, excuse me, put it onto the quick access toolbar. And uh, unfortunately, every single one of these is currently a little flowchart with personal.xlsb as the beginning of the name of this thing. So let's go ahead and modify this. I'll hit the item on the right, hit the modify button down here at the bottom, and unhiding rows and columns. It's really unfortunate that they don't give us the ability to make better custom icons than this. Let's see, what would I use if I were gonna unhide rows and columns? Uh, maybe this guy, okay. And then for the name, I'll just put in unhide rows calls. Hit okay, and hit okay. And so now I have this button up here that kind of looks like a waffle that when I hover on top of it, it says unhide rows calls. And when I press it, you can see there, I went ahead and highlighted all the columns that were hidden previously, all the rows that were hidden previously so that you could see that those in fact were unhidden. So again, just real quick, go back in here. I'll just highlight all these columns right here. Boom, boom, boom right click and hide them. And when I realize I don't want to hide them anymore, I can go to my unhide rows and calls button, 
and those become unhidden just like that. So it's a good first practice when you are getting a new spreadsheet from a client or something like that, unhide some rows and columns, see what's actually happening in the workbook.